Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and is located on the southeastern coast of Africa. Due to its isolation, the island has been able to develop one of the highest biodiversity in the world. 90% of all plant and animal species in Madagascar are endemic, meaning that these species are native to and can only be found in Madagascar. Madagascar is known for its forests that provide habitats for a majority of the species located on the island country. However, due to human activity on the island, many of these forests are being cut down and burnt for the logging industry, as well as to create farmland. According to the article, Deforestation in Madagascar, a threat to its biodiversity, the country has lost about 80% of its original forests, and the primary forest now covers only about 12% of the country. The forests provide habitats for many organisms, plants, and animals alike and the destruction of these forests decreased habitat biodiversity. Examples of species that are affected by this deforestation are the lemurs and the Madagascar sea eagle. There are many species of lemurs, many of which are endemic to Madagascar. These primates are listed as critically endangered, and 95% of the world's lemur population is threatened. According to Lauren Child's article on EcoWatch, the lemurs in Madagascar are threatened due to habitat loss from agriculture, illegal logging, charcoal farm production, and mining. About 80% of the Madagascar's original forests have been lost, which, which includes many of lemurs' habitats. Currently, there are only about 2,000 to 2,400 lemurs left in Madagascar. The other species, the Madagascar sea eagle, also known as the Madagascar fish eagle, is the largest bird of prey endemic to Madagascar. These birds are currently deemed critically endangered, and as of 2016, there are about 240 mature individuals left. The eagles build their nests in the forest of Madagascar. However, human activities such as logging and wood harvesting reduce nesting, thus lowering the population as there are less and less births. One solution that we found to counter deforestation in Madagascar is increasing government regulation and laws. There is, in fact, evidence that stricter regulation is effective in other countries such as Brazil and the United States. For example, in Brazil, the area of deforestation dropped 65% after stricter regulation of illegal logging within the Amazon rainforest. Brazil had the highest legal logging rate in 2016, but after stricter regulation, the illegal logging rate has significantly decreased. Similarly, in the United States, laws such as the Endangered Species Act, the Wilderness Act, the Lacey Act and the Roadless Rule help regulate the illegal logging and help protect the endangered species. Since these laws are already proven to be affecting other countries that have issues with legal logging, stricter law enforcement could be the solution to slowing down the deforestation rate in Madagascar. For although government regulation has been seen to be effective, we believe that in the case of Madagascar, the impact of the solution will be limited. This is due to Madagascar's unstable government. With a history of political instability and the most recent coup d'etat in 2009, in addition, according to BBC News, this resulted in a halt of the international aid by the EU and the World Bank, as well as a suspension from the African Union. Not only is the Madagascan government unstable, they have a lack of funds that would give them the possibility of implementing laws. Therefore, we assume that although the solution could potentially be helpful as seen through evidence of its success in other countries, it would only have minimal effect on protecting the forests of Madagascar. Madagascar's government would not be able to enforce these laws as it is still a developing country and the government compared to other nations is not as powerful. Thus, the amount of change or reform they would be able to bring about would not be as effective as it would be in other countries. The limitations of the solution in Madagascar outweigh the strengths, and therefore the solution would have a limited impact on protecting biodiversity. Now, we'll be talking about the cross-cutting concepts. First, the cause and effect. Due to human activities in Madagascar, such as illegal logging and deforestation, many forests are, are currently being destroyed. This leads to decreasing forest habitat that many animals rely on. Without these habitats, the animals lose their home and shelter. The loss of habitat leads to isolated population and there will be less resources that are available for animals, thus leading to decreasing biodiversity, which is what is currently happening in Madagascar with animals such as lemurs and the Madagascar sea eagle. Another cross-cutting concept is the idea of the cycling of matter. In Madagascar, deforestation leads to cutting down of trees, and sometimes the burning of the tree matter. The matter from the trees produces nutrient-rich soil, which becomes the foundations of farmland. However, after this land has been exploited and the nutrients are gone, the burnt remains of the trees that have become soil now becomes part of the desert, and the forests that were once there have fallen to desertification.